The subjects in my work are very important to me, but they also make up the fabric of our society. I paint sex workers, members of the queer community, my partner, friends. Sometimes I paint people I don't even know. They sort of operate without shame, moving through the world, proud of themselves, not afraid to express who they are. The gaze is a very, very powerful thing. I guess traditionally whoever holds the gaze holds the power. I want to sort of subvert that. Some of them, the gaze is welcome, you know, they welcome the gaze, they understand that they, they might in this moment be an object of desire and, you know, they might also feel that same way about you know, whoever's gazing at them, they will return that gaze with desire. I think with the Rococo it became more of a, a sort of royal and upper class thing to do, whereas the Baroque had more sort of common people. I mean, Caravaggio, a lot of his subjects will have dirt under their fingernails and stuff like that because they're not actually royal subjects. Whereas when you go into the Rococo, I mean, France is particularly famous for this because, you know, you have this like King Louis or Marie Antoinette, uh, et cetera, et cetera. They want to portray themselves in a certain light. And then as I went along, I sort of became more into this idea of the Rococo, not just for its aesthetic qualities, but for what it represents and what the Rococo means. It's frivolous, playful, erotic, seductive, fun image of you know, love, desire, eroticism, pleasure above all else. I think everybody has something inherently hedonistic about them. I think it's, if you're denying that, you're denying a big part of what it is to be human. I guess what my subjects do is, they don't deny it at all. In fact, they, they put it out there for the world to see and they say, this is it, like we're having a good time. That acceptance of themselves is a very, very important part of the works and I think that's what makes them so powerful. It's because they are there for everyone to see and they're unapologetic.